What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so if you saw, you know, the beginning, yes, that egg was, why not, the uh, pre- or the baby form of, uh, what was it, Wobbuffet? Yeah, that Wobbuffet. Took me a lot, and I mean a long time, to actually try and get that Pokemon to hatch, and I did it. I finally did it. But in the meantime, I was actually doing some uh, training off-screen as well. As you can see, my Pokemon are nice and leveled up, and if you guys haven't noticed, I kept a few of them, like, you know, before their evolution thing, because I know many of you guys want to see some evolution, so that's probably what we're going to get in this uh, episode right here. So, first is first, I am going to start healing up my Pokemon, because why not? Get it? Why not? <laughs> yeah, pretty dumb, uh, pretty dumb, uh, uh, what was it called again? Pun. Yeah, pun and whatever. Pun unintended, or I don't even know. I hate puns. I really do. Okay, so in this episode, we're going to be going into the uh, Lava Ridge Town gym, and it's a fire type gym. You know, that's why Swamp Lord is before that whole uh, level 30, 35 thing. So now, if you talk to this guy, he's like, hey, how's it going, Champion Bound Draven? Lava Ridge gym leader Flannery uses fire type Pokemon. Her passion for Pokemon burns stronger than and hotter than a volcano. Don't get uh, too close to her, you'll burn. Pose her down with water and then go for it. You know, I'm gonna do just a little bit more than just hose her down, if you catch my drift. We all know that Flannery is the hottest one right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through this whole sauna place and there she is. Mm, I will reach you, my dear. I will reach you. And we're going to have to go through these holes right here. And it's going to either sink us or take us to a whole new place. But in the meantime, there are going to be some Pokemon trainers uh, hiding around that area. So what we're going to do is I'm going to switch up my Swamp Lord right here. And uh, we're going to get some battles going right here. So as you can see, we got the first one. As much as I love mountains, I especially love volcanoes. Okay. So he, he loves to hike them, I guess. So there we go. First battle of the day. Hiker Eli. And he's coming out with his new mole. Okay. Bring it on. I'm not afraid of you. I will not be afraid of you. Water gun attack here. I have such an advantage. Such a huge advantage right here. That's right. Defeated you. You slit. And uh, that was it, I guess. Huh. Okay. Well, it seems uh, to me that I lost without even uh, ever being in control. That is true. That is so true. You suck, man. Okay, so let's see if we can find... Oh, well, there we go. It could have been a double battle right there. Huh. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's do this. For America right here. And uh, here we have Kindler Jace coming out with his Slugma. And I'm coming out with Slu uh, the Swamp Lord right here. And we're going to go with the Water Gun Attack. There we go. Look at that. Oh man, this is gonna be an easy battle right here. Easy battles. I'm gonna reach the girl and I'm gonna beat you all. That's right. Jace from Dragon Ball Z has been defeated. And, uh, okay, so we got three ways to go. I'm gonna go right here first, see if it actually takes me somewhere. And it looks like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it looks like we have uh, this guy right here. Okay, so we got a pokey, uh, a cool trainer. His name is Geraldo. And he's got himself a Kecleon, which is uh, not entirely a new Pokemon, but it's an e it easily manipulated Pokemon right here. Uh, whatever Pokemon, whatever type you hit it with, it actually blends with the, uh, or it uses his camouflage, but I just defeated him like that. And, uh, yeah, he didn't burn hot at all. And Swamp Lord's about to evolve right here, so what I'm going to do right now is... I'm going to switch it up with Raiden. I want two evolutions, if not three. And I'm going to put Gaia right here because I can tell there's going to be a double battle here somewhere. I was right. They don't just put those two holes right there and, oh, crud, I was wrong. Huh. Well, here we have Kindler. His name is Axel. And he's coming out with Numel. Wow. Yeah, gravy. Okay. Let's go to Gaia. Let's do this, Gaia. Do it. For the Fierce Knights out there. Gaia the Fierce Knight. And uh, I wonder what Oblivious means. Now, during our training, Gaia actually learned a new move, and it's Psychic, and I actually used it for, uh, or I replaced it with Confusion. Probably shouldn't have done that, because, uh, yeah. Psychic only has 10 PP, so I gotta choose my, I gotta pick and choose right there. And there we go, Numel's done, Raiden's getting points, Gaia's getting points, and Kindler, yeah. 
He doesn't feel so good. He doesn't feel so hot right here. And uh, there's nobody else right here. So let's go and choose the bottom floor right here. And, uh, hmm. Okay, there we go. I was kind of hoping for a double battle right here, but I guess not. So let's go ahead and just take on more fire trainers or more, you know, more kindlers right here. And he's coming out with one Pokemon. His name is Keegan. What kind of a name is Keegan? I always thought that Keegan was a weird name. Here we go. Shockwave. And there we go. There's a rock throw right there. I don't like that. So let's go again with the rock or a shockwave. Here we go. Slugma defeated. And Raiden kicking some ass. He's like, play with fire and be burned. Yeah, you got burned, mother lover. Okay, and I uh, guess if we go up here, I'm expecting a double battle somewhere. Probably right here. No? Okay, there we go. Yeah, they're all hiding somewhere. I think I'm going the right direction or something like that, but there's a, there's a fire trainer just everywhere. And this person right here, of course, Danielle, has a Metatype. And uh, this should be a good battle right here. Let's go with the detect attack. Wow. Oh god, I I, I really hate detect and protect. It's really like it just gets annoying because they use it three times in a row, and I'm the one that's just like acting like, oh well, you know, shoot. You know, I can't hit him. So here we go, spark attack, Sparky the spark dog. That's right. And uh, alrighty, so we're close. Oh, but you're too strong. Hell yeah, I am. Mm -hmm. All right, so what if we go down here and uh, no, we restarted. But if we go up here and uh, huh, we're pretty much in the same place right here. Oh, crud. Okay, so we're in the same spot. Now we're just going to have to travel everywhere. Hopefully we have enough trainers to actually try and get my Pokemon to evolve. And oh, didn't know that there was a trainer there. Huh. Huh, so that's new right there. And here we have Killer Cole coming out with his Numel. And of course, I picked the wrong Pokemon. Let's switch him up right here. Let's go. Let's go, Gaia, the Fierce Knight, yet again. I think I have like two or three Pokemon that are weak to, weak to fire. I'm trying to cover all my bases right here. And this guy using Growl again. Okay, let's go. Psychic Attack. I should have used a calm, calm mind first just to finish off in one move. And uh, oh god, you're not doing anything with 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 that growl attack. Seriously, you really not. And there we go. Numel defeated right there, and everybody's getting points. All right, blinded by the sweat in my eyes. Okay, alrighty. So just switching them up. I'm gonna go right here. And. Uh, Okay, we've already crossed this path, and I guess we have to go right here, and I did it incorrectly again, so either or we're going to get somewhere, if I, if, if I remember everything correctly right here, so going up here, and now we have to go up here, and not go down there, but go up here, and uh, okay, so it looks like we're closer than ever, huh. Okay, so let's go down the middle right here. It launches us, and there might be a double battle right here. I want it to be a double battle. Huh. No double battle. Okay, so we're going to go here. And I choose incorrectly yet again. Oh, wait, never mind. Never mind. Okay, so <laughs> it would seem we're right in front of our, uh, our uh, lover right here. Mm. Flannery. Mm-mm-mm. Sexiest gym leader ever. Correct me if I'm wrong. Try and argue with me. Try and argue with me, guys. Okay, so I'm going to heal up my Pokemon right now. And we're going to do this. Alrighty. How you doing there, baby? Missed ya. Let's go. Welcome, No Way. Puny Trainer, how good to see you. You've made it here. I have been entrusted with the No Way. I am Flannery, and I'm the gym leader here. Uh, dare not underestimate me, though I have been a leader for only a short time. With skills inherited from my grandfather, I shall uh, demonstrate the hot moves we have honed in this land. 
Okay. Alrighty, so here we go, guys. Our fourth gym battle. And it's against... Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Flannery. Mmm, and she's coming out with her Numo. Alrighty. And here's my Raiden. Of course, I choose incorrectly. So moving on into our next screen right here. Flannery, if you're playing Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, she does have three Pokemon. A Slugma, two Slugmas at level 26, and a Torkoal at level 28. Uh, Overheat is the main move in this gym right here, but these Pokemon like to increase their defense, special defense, and, uh, you know, they just like to screw around with you statistically, you know, stat-wise and all that stuff. Now, moving on to Pokemon Emerald right here, she does have four Pokemon. She starts out with her Numo at level 24, Slugma at level 24, Camel Rump at level 26, and then a Torkoal at level 29. Again, Overkey is a very, very strong fire type move, which sharp, uh, which basically dr or dram dramatically decreases their special attack. So, moving on right here, back to the screen. I'm going to switch out Pokemon because I don't want none of this. I don't. So, let's go with Gaia right here. Gaia the Fierce Knight. Hopefully... We, we won't get hurt as badly. And Oblivious. And there's that overheat attack. Like I said, it is a very, very powerful uh, fire type move. And it took a buttload of my attack, or my uh, my HP right here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to heal up my Pokemon because I uh, don't want none of that. I don't want to faint just about yet. But luckily for us, we survived. His special attack is not that powerful. With every overheat attack it uses, it just gets weaker and weaker as you can see it's not it's not it's not as strong as the last one so what we're gonna do right here psychic attack nearly defeats him and here's that takedown attack that we've kind of been dreading and uh, holy crud nearly faints Numel, you jerk okay so we're we're really in for a battle right here probably should have gone with the calm mind and uh, let's go again with another psychic attack for the win. There we go. Numo has been defeated. And everybody's getting experience points, just like always. And here she's coming out with her slug muscle. Now, this is a good chance for my Raiden to just go ahead and just battle. Go ham on everybody right here. And uh well, Slugma right here. Looking like a slug. Let's go with Thunder Wave. Of course it's slower than us, but I just want to paralyze it. That way it won't attack me or anything. And here we go with that overheat attack. Jeez. And that takes me out right there and then. Wow. So like I said, that move is a very, very powerful one. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Gaia. I'm going to heal up Gaia because, uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that, you know, getting hit by uh, overheat a buttload of times. It's probably Gaia's specialty right there, and uh, you cannot move. All righty, so... Let's go with the Calm Mind attack right here. Mm-hmm. That's right. Special attack has been risen. You're gonna be. You're gonna feel the the full force of Gaia right here with its psychic attack. Here we go. And just like that, Slugma defeated. Holy crud! Okay, so here she's coming out with her Camel Rub. So this is the Pokemon that Swamp Lord's very special at. I'm just gonna go switch it out right here. There we go. Swamp Lord looking like a beast. And here we have Camelrupt. Very, very strong Pokemon. But luckily for us, we got the advantage with both ground and water type attacks. And as you can see, one hit, KO. Eat it, Camelrupt. Eat it. And look at that. Swamp Lord grows to level 36. And here we have a Torkoal. I mean, we already know how to take on Torkoal right here. At first, I thought that Torkoal was a rock type Pokemon. But really, it was both. A, it's just a fire type Pokemon. So, luckily for us, we got two attacks right here that can just, you know, make him go to sleep right here. So, going to go with a Mud Shot. Lower its speed just a little, I guess. No, it's a Tract. Oh, crud. Swamp Lord's a lot in love. So, I gave Flannery just a little bit of mercy. That's, that's, that's a bet on me. That's, you know, probably shouldn't have done that. And, oh, crud. Immobilized by love. And here's that Body Slam attack that I didn't want to get hit with. Come on. Who cares about that 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 Torkoal? Come on. Oh jeez. Okay, so we're we're probably going to have to switch out right here. This Pokémon is annoying right now. Come on. Hit it. Hit it. There we go. And there's that water gun attack. 
for the win. Eat it, Torkoal. Eat it. So there we go. 1,000 experience points. We defeated our girlfriend, Flannery. She's like, oh, I guess I was trying too hard. I, I've only recently become a gym leader. I tried too, um, too hard to become someone I'm not. I have, I have to do things uh, my natural way. If I don't, my Pokemon will be confused. Thanks for teaching me that. For that, you deserve this. We get ourselves our Lava Badge. That's right. And her number, too. And would you look at that. It's finally time, guys. So, remember that first time we came out with uh, Swamp Lord? When it was just a little baby Mudkip? Now, it is finally evolving in its, in its supreme form right here. At this point in time. Yeah, that's right, guys. It's supreme form at this point in time. We got ourselves Swampert. The Swamp Lord. That's right. Is it learning a new move? No, it doesn't. And we get ourselves the Heat Badge. Not the Lava Badge, the Heat Badge. Wow, what was I thinking? What was I smoking for that one? If you have the Heat Badge, all Pokemon up to level 50, even those you get in trades from other people, will obey you completely. And it lets your Pokemon use strength outside of battle. This is a token of my appreciation. Don't be shy about taking it. And here we have, guys, the TM50, which is Overheat. It contains Overheat. That move inflicts serious damage on, on the opponent, but it also sharply cuts the uh, spe special attack of a Pokemon using it. It might not be suitable for longer battles. And we got her phone number. Yes, yes. Oh, Flanner, you are, you are a beauty. Your power reminds me of someone. Oh, I know. You battle like Norman, the gym leader of Petalburg. Yeah, that's that's sort of my dad. Anywho, I'm walking away, and here we go. Yo, that was scorching hot battle. It was, it really was. Now, once we get out of the gym right here, guess who comes out? Our other girlfriend. That's right, guys, we have other girlfriends here. May, she's like, Draven, long time no see. Oh, well, I visited uh, the hot springs. You got the Lava Ridge gym badge. You must have collected good Pokemon. No, I believe you raised some. I guess it would be okay for you to have this. And we get ourselves the Go Goggles, enabling us to go to the desert right here. With those Go Goggles, you'll have no trouble getting through the uh, desert near Route 111. But wow, Draven. Challenging gyms? You're trying hard because you don't want to lose to me, I bet. Draven, I think you should go challenge your dad at the Petalburg Gym. See you again. Alrighty, whatever. Okay, so we're feeling stuff. We're, pretty, we're feeling strong, you know, tough and all that stuff. Our Pokemon badges are, you know, nice and shiny. You know, we're feeling a little heavy. Four badges already. And uh, our main Pokemon right here, let's go ahead and check them out right now. Swamp Lord or Swampert. Both a water and ground type Pokemon. Torrent is his ability, like always. And as you can see, its attack is going through the roof right here very very good and anything other than you know well its defense and special defense are pretty good as well so it's a very good Pokemon to actually have very bulky and now we got two other Pokemon ready for final evolutions right here which I cannot wait so now in our next adventure we're actually gonna take a nice side quest and go straight to the uh, desert in route 111 and just check it out over there you know just see what's all about see if we can evolve more Pokemon so thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in the next episode